Well, morning, it's the old fart in his shed, and today I'm going to be doing something completely different. Um, I've been watching one or two um, videos on YouTube from my mates around the world, and one of the things that uh, has been advised is is uh, growing yeast to, to make it cheaper, basically, to, to get... Uh, a yeast going so that you can divide them up and make more batches if you like and and to do this to achieve this it seems that we we need to make a, a stir plate and I've been looking around on eBay and uh, the likes uh, buying a stir plate and they're quite expensive so I looked on YouTube and there's one or two people who made them so I thought right I'll give it a go now it's not an instructional an instructional, <laughs> an in, you know, it's not one of these tutorial uh, malarkeys. Um, what you're going to have to do is just follow me through, and if I make mistakes, I make mistakes. But let me start off by showing you what I bought. So I've been onto um, eBay and I bought a box. Um, I forget what they call them, but it's just a box, plastic box with a couple of screws, which is quite nice. Um, I'll put I'll put all the links at the side so you can see where I've got them from. And I've got a fan, a computer fan, and I, I thought I'd get one with um, a plug-in already set on it. I think most of them do come like that anyway. But the reason I did that is because I bought one of these as well it's um, it's a controller to turn the fan up and down now when I bought this I had a bit of a problem because it was like stuck glued onto the uh, onto this plate here and I couldn't turn the knob and I thought oh god you know it's a faulty one but it appears that um, this knob is is glued on, so I, I I forced it off. To be honest with you, you can see some of the glue around that. But with forcing it off, it uh, showed me that I can actually just undo this little nut thing and take that off. So I don't need that. And then I thought, if I put that back on and drill an hole through that and then I can have the, the knob poking out, so that's quite good. So that's me variable controller for the for the fan. I won't push that back on at the moment. Now also, I had this with an old disk drive. It were, uh, it's just basically, a, a, it, it turns uh, 240 into 12 volt direct current, and uh, I've just cut the lead off for now, and just seen what colors there were, which match up with the colours on that. So hopefully those will go with those. Now I'm no electrician but I'll do my best. So I've got that, so that's the power in. And then what I needed as well was a was a magnet and apparently you can get magnets out of one of these. It's an old disc that uh, I'll never use now. I don't think it's about 40 gig which is not a lot nowadays. And then on top of the stir plate, I thought instead of buying um, one of these glass proper glass jars, what I'd do is uh, use this. And it's <laughs> so so we wanted to make me strong enough. And apparently there's gherkins there, and she's she paid about one pound fifty, thinking she was going to get a little jar of gherkins, and ended up with this bloody thing. But it's ideal. I think that'll fit on there quite nicely. So that's my plan of attack. I haven't got. Um, any any plans or anything so I'm just going to uh, suck it and see so if you if you want to follow me that's great I, I don't know whether to, to break it down into different parts and uh, like I did um, my, my other video but uh, see how we get on so that's it uh, cue music <laughs> Right, 
Right, what I've decided to do is um, I'd already cut the uh, the wires free from there and that's plugged in at the moment because I wanted to uh, test it with me, me testing gizmo to see what uh, what voltage is coming out so I'm going to check the voltage on these wires for a start so let's switch this on so I'm assuming that the the red wire is the positive so let's whack that on there and I'll try the yellow wire for a start bugger all, probably be best to switch it on <laughs> right I'm switched on so let's see what voltage we're getting from this uh, transformer. So I'm touching the red and the yellow. And we're getting just over 12 volts on that, which is pretty good. So let's try it on the white. Getting 7 volts on that. So I'm going to go for the yellow. So I've checked that now. So I know that uh, the red is the positive and the yellow is the negative and it's feeding 12 volts so I'll switch that off now on the fan um, the, I've, I've clipped that into there right and what I have done is I've cut this bit off the end because I've got to solder these at some stage, so let's see if it works. So I've trimmed um, the I've trimmed the uh, the red and the black down, and uh, let's see what we get down. I think one's positive and one's negative. So I'll switch this off for a start. The electric, and I'll just wrap that around there. So that's the red. Then we'll try the black to the yellow. Right, oh, I don't know whether you can see that. Anymore. Yeah, so I put. Oops, looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Let's wrap it around. Just this is just to check it out. So that's the red to the red on there. Oh bollocks. I suppose there's a better way of doing this but it is switched off. Don't know whether that'll work. Right, let's switch on. Ah, the fan's going round, so let's try turning that. Ah, oh, yes. You don't bring it to a stop, but it's a nice slow try turning it on. Right, so I've checked that out then, so it's red to red and the black to the yellow. So I know that the electrics is going to work now, so it's next phase is the box. Right then, um, I've decided that the electrics will work, which is pretty damn cool. And now um, it's the box time. and. Uh, I see if everything fits in. So I bought this, I think it's called a project box, and it, and it should fit the fan. So I'll take those little screws out and uh, I'll just unclip all of this for now because I know, I know it's going to work. So hopefully that should fit in there okay, which it does. In fact, it's a pretty damn good fit that. So I'll put the links, like I say, to this and this because obviously it's a bloody good fit and I, I think I was just lucky there. Now, I don't know whether to have the knob at the end there 
to turn the, the voltage. I think that's what I'll do. I'll have the voltage knob one side and the inlet the other side and then when that goes on and if I keep the fan in the middle I think that'll be the best place for it and just rest it on there. So um, I think the best idea now is to do some uh, planning and, and marking up. So I'm going to take a few minutes now to to have a look at positioning the fan in the middle and lining everything up where I've got to drill the holes because I want to secure the fan in there. And I think um, it's, uh, the, the magnet's obviously got to go on top of the fan because I'll stick it to there. So I want it as close to the top as I can. So probably variable screws so I can adjust it somehow. So I'm going to have to get me thinking it on that. Uh, so I'm going to do I'm going to do a bit of planning and uh, see uh, see where we're going. I keep looking at the wrong part of the bloody camera. It looks like I'm doing cross-eyed. Oh, that's all right. So I'll go on to the planning stage now. Any road up.